Hi there, my name is Chris Sales, manager for Sony and Vision in Bolton, and we're looking at a brand new product range today from Sony. Four models in this range, the KDL40NX723, the KDL46NX723, the KDL55NX723, and the KDL60NX723. So four screen sizes there, 40 inch, 46, 55, and 60 inch. It's the same specification on all four models, apart from one factor, which is the power consumption. The power consumption on the 40 inch is 66 watts, is 82 watts on the 46 inch, 112 watts on the 55 inch, and 148 watts on the 60 inch. The rest of the specification we go through now is the same on all four models. So what have we got? Well, in brief, they are all full HD. They'll come up with 720p, 1080i, and 1080p resolution. They've also got the latest Freeview HD tuners built into them. So you can get BBC, ITV, and Channel 4 in high definition from your standard TV aerial, as long as they are broadcasting that service within your region. They've also got wireless technology built into them. So there's no need for any external dongles. The actual Wi-Fi technology is built into the TV, so you can access your web services wirelessly as well. There is an Ethernet port on the rear, so if you do wish to hardwire it, you can also do that as well. They're also edge LED lit, so you get extremely slim panels. It's only about two centimeters in depth, this particular panel, and all the sockets on the back of here are recessed, so it lends itself very well to being wall mounted. It does come with the designer stand, this monolith stand that you see here as well. You get the designer stand with it. This stand has a, an, an internal subwoofer built into the back of this stand as well, giving 20 watts output from the actual subwoofer, and four times 40 watts from the TV set itself. As well as this designer stand that it does come with, it also comes with a more traditional tabletop stand. So you can either use it on this stand here or on the standard tabletop stand, which will give you a swivel and tilt option on that stand as well. So, you know, looking at the sort of specification on this set, extremely well specified, fantastic sound output as well. Really good control of motion. Um, you're looking at Sony's uh, motion flow technology, the XR200 on this. So any fast movements control really well, so no delay and drag in the image. And with it being um, LED backlit on this TV, you've got extremely good contrast levels, giving you really good black levels on here. So good natural color palettes and great depth of field as well. Okay, so let's run through uh, these sockets with you. First of all, on the rear of the TV, you've got an ethernet port. Um, so it's recessed underneath here. Uh, so you can hardwire it, uh, but I said it has got wireless technology to access your internet built into the TV. You've then got your aerial socket for Freeview HD just here as well. You've then got two AV sockets. Now these uh, sockets on here, basically in the box with the TV, you get an adapter here for components, which is the uh, red, green, blue sockets on here and the audio input there. So a lot of games consoles and DVDs can use component. We get that adapter, which just plugs in underneath the TV, just there and then you can plug in any component feed. And you've also got the same thing on a SCART. So you've got the SCART socket here and the little adapter connection here, which plugs underneath there if you want to plug anything uh, still using SCART. But I will give you a close up of those sockets before we finish this uh, video clip. You've then got two HDMI inputs, yet again recessed just underneath the uh, um, panel just here, of which uh, HDMI 1 is wired for ARC, which is audio return control, to take a HDMI lead from the back of this TV into an external amplifier if you want to send the, uh, the sound out from the TV via the HDMI. On the side of the set, you've got two USBs. So you've got USB inputs here as well. So you've got any information on a memory stick or anything, put it into there. You can have that information coming into the TV. If you want to put a NAS drive, a little hard drive unit into the set, uh, you can record uh, directly uh, TV programs uh, using the USB. You've then got another two HDMI, uh, meaning four in total, another two HDMI sockets on the side here. You've then got audio out using the 3.5 millijack, which also doubles up as your uh, headphone socket. There's then a digital optical out on the side of here, a PC socket as well with the um, 3.5 millijack uh, audio input for the PC socket as well. So, you know, an extensive array of sockets on the rear of the TV. So let's take you through uh, some of the functionality on this particular product range. First of all, the remote control uh, it comes with, we're going to be dealing uh, with at the moment the home button, which is the one here, up, down, right and left on the keypad, and the options button just here as well. So first of all, of all if we press the, uh, the options button, it will put the menu up on screen. It puts the menu down this side of the screen, leaving the bulk of the picture clear for you. You can see we've got at the top there, picture and sound. So let's go through those first of all. The keypad here that we're referring to, which is up, down, right and left. We press the center button, the OK button there, for one that's highlighted, which is picture. 
it will put us into the picture menu. Now it's quite an extensive uh, range of adjustments in here. So first of all, what we have are preset molds from the manufacturer. At the moment it's on standard. If we highlight that and click up or down, it'll take us through various presets for Vivid. As you can see there, the adjustments change on the screen for contrast and brightness. If we go back into that and just say custom, uh, they will vary, but you can adjust accordingly between vivid, custom, or standard. And then when you go into those particular adjustments, then you can alter each one of those. So if you highlight, say, contrast, press OK in the center of the remote, using the left or right button on there, you can adjust the contrast or any one of those adjustments accordingly. And we can come down from there for the brightness and color. Yet again, just rest on the one that you want to adjust. Press OK in the center of the remote and just tweak up how you want that to be. As we come further down that scale, you'll find things like sharpness and noise reduction systems and various adjustments that you can make. Uh, motion flows turned off, but yet again, if you want to control uh, fast movement, uh, yet again, you've got different options from standard to smooth and so forth on there. And you've got advanced settings as well. If we go into the advanced settings on this particular TV, it gives us further adjustments for things like um, black correction, um, advanced contrast, uh, gamma settings where you can adjust the, uh, the gamma ratio on the TV. And if we come further down that particular scale, you've got things like white balance. Once you come to white balance, you can then tweak around with each primary color for red, green, and blue to adjust for things like gain and bias as well. So you've got an extensive range of adjustments that you can make within the picture. If we come out of that menu for a moment, we'll just go back to uh, that main menu again, to the options menu. As we come into the options menu, so the top one is picture. If we come down from there, you've also got adjustments for sound. Now, as I said, this particular TV comes with um, the what they call the monolith stand here, uh, which has its own internal speaker arrangement and a subwoofer built into the back of it as well. So sound quality wise, absolutely fantastic. Really superb sound from this TV. So it does have speakers built into the set itself as well. So if, you are not, if you're not using it on this stand, you still get 40 watts per channel from this TV, from the set itself. But what you'd lose out on is that the external subwoofer, which is built into this stand, which is 20 watts output from the subwoofer. But in the adjustments for the sound, you can make um, individual, individual adjustments for things like treble and bass, which are just there. Yet again, you've got preset adjustments from the manufacturer for dynamic, clear voice, which will bring out the vocals more or standard but yet again as I said you can go into any one of these adjustments just rest on the say treble and adjust accordingly to turn the treble down or up and you've also got adjustments for surround sound off or what they call force front surround of which it will tend to throw the sound out and around you as well uh, and once you're in that mode you've also got things like 3d surround as well so there's a lot of adjustments that you can tweak around with to get the sound absolutely perfect to, to how you want it as well so not only does it have a superb picture quality on here, you've really got a fantastic sound system to back it up as well. Going back into that menu for a second, back into the options menu, you've also got some other little facilities on here, things like track ID. If you are watching something on TV, whether it's an advert or a film with a piece of music that's playing, if you go to track ID, it will also, if you're not sure what that track is, that piece of music is, it will identify that track for you. So a nice little touch there. And you've also got uh, things like going into the 3D menu because this TV is also equipped for 3D, which I didn't mention before. It doesn't come with the glasses for 3D, but there are uh, glasses that you can buy from ourselves. So uh, the technology for 3D is built in. You just need to add some glasses to it. But it will also convert 2D to 3D as well. So if you're watching your standard uh, 2D programs, whatever it may be, you can also adapt that to 3D. You just need to purchase some glasses. Uh, as we come further down that screen, You've also got things like twin picture where you can split the screen and have um, a picture within picture as well. So if you had a satellite box plugged into this or a cable box, you could have the cable picture as well as say BBC or ITV on here at the same time. So a lot of little adjustments that you can make within that menu. The other menu we're going to look at now is the home menu, which is the blue button just here. As we go into this menu, just to run through some of the facilities on here, at the moment it says TV and tells us we're looking at the digital TV channels. If we move over to the, um, uh, to the left or the right on this keypad, you'll see they'll start to change. The menu down here is actually changing. As we come through there, we've got music and video on demand and so forth. 
<clears throat> and they'll change as we come through here. You've got Skype facility on here and you've got internet browser. You have got an open browser on here so you can search for any website at all using the uh, open browser. You can see all those options changing. We've also got Twitter and Facebook on here as well. We'll have a look at uh, some of the web facility on here now. So we'll have a look at, say, uh, some of the video search. Let's have a look for you what we've got on there. So now it's going to open up some websites for us on the screen itself. It's going to search for um, various video searches on here. Um, so we've got things that we can look at in history that we may have searched before. In fact, we'll just come out of that. We'll go straight back into one second. We'll have a look at the uh, the Bravia internet videos. Um, basically, you can have you can if you're searching particular uh, videos, it will go back in history and put up on the screen what you have been looking at. Um, but if we have a look at now, say what it's showing up on the screen here, we've got various options, things like BBC iPlayer, Five on Demand. We've got Catch Up TV facilities, Sky News, uh, YouTube. And uh, there'll be other options through here. There'll be various different things that you can go on to. If we just rest on one of those, say YouTube, and press OK, it will start to search for the YouTube site itself. It'll kick up various options down the left-hand side of the screen there, and you'll just highlight one of those options. So if you want, say, uh, most popular, just press OK, and it'll start to load that information for you. You can then view that uh, image on the right hand side of the screen here in a box or you can blow it up to full screen as well so yet again you would just highlight uh, any one of those press ok searching for that again it will display it in this section here and then blow it up to full screen for you as well if you want to watch it on full screen so we've got a range of tvs here which have extremely good contrast levels to give you a really great picture Really fast movements that it's using uh, Sony's uh, XR Motion Flow technology, the XR200 Motion Flow to control motion extremely well. You've got Wi-Fi technology built into the particular TV. Fantastic sound quality with the stand that it comes with here, all from the internal speakers on the TV set itself. It's hard to sort of uh, pick any faults or any holes in this particular model range. They're absolutely superbly equipped, even down to the fact that they are 3D ready. If you want the 3D technology, you've got to buy some glasses for them as well. These products are on display in our store in Bolton, so please pop in for a demonstration if you're in that area. Or go through to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk. You will find hundreds of video clips on there, not just on TVs, but on AV amps, speakers, uh, home theatre systems. So please take a look on our website, soundinvision.co.uk. Or give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Thank you.